Welcome back to Inspirational Talk. I know it's been a while since we've been face to face like this, but I thought, why not do another video like this? It's been a while, so I thought I'd pop up like this. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with inspirational cards today. Hope did another inspirational card for y'all. This one says, you can do, <clears throat> sorry, you can do anything that you set your mind to do. And that is true. Anything you set your mind can do, go out there and you can do it. That's really cute. She's amazing. She's been waiting on. She's like, when are you going to do your video, Mama? Make sure you show them because they need to know that. I was like, I will. And then she wants me to show you the bags. XOXOs. Oh, let me find. Let me do. Let me find mine. It might not be as good as that one because that one's a good one. So, let's see. What I can find again. Whatever you want to do, big or small, if you set your mind to it, you work hard, you can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. You set your mind on it and your heart on it, you can go out there and do it. Here's mine. Not every day will be, not every day will be this hard. That's true. And the little, little hedgehog. Some days might be hard, but not every day will be hard. Some days you wake up, you might not feel like getting out of bed, but not every day will be hard, y'all. Some days, but the sun will come out and shine. So... Keep on getting up. The sun's out there shining. And there's people out there that believe in y'all. So get up and y'all got this. Today, pop it. Inspirational is words hurt. You might not think words hurt, but they do. Like actions hurt. But words hurt too. They they hurt deeply too. Think before you speak. Always think before you speak. Um, no matter where you are and who it is, even if it's a friend or somebody think you think you're close to, always think about it. Um, even. Because them words might just trigger something. You don't know that you don't know that person. You don't know who they are and how they feel about them words. You don't know nothing about them, and and it's not nice to say something bad about somebody. Something rude. So so don't be going around speaking ill about somebody not to their face and or anything because words do hurt you don't know anything about their past or what they're going through so be in mind and don't just judge a person from the by their cover I don't care who you are. You're not entitled to just speak your mind when it comes to um, trash talking somebody. Um, or anything like that because words hurt. So, please, think before you talk. And... Always be kind. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. 
end, I'm talking about the keyboard warriors that's hiding behind their keyboard, their phone pad, their phone pad, their phone keyboards or whatever you call them. I'm talking about y'all too. Don't go, don't go be hiding behind them. Don't go be hiding behind the comments or messages or whatever you're doing. Even though you think you're behind your computer, your phone, you think you're in your own little words of the computer and you're bad mouthing people or you're actually uh, talking to them in private and you think it doesn't matter what I say about them on the internet or in private on the internet that it doesn't matter it's just not real it doesn't matter it does it really does it hurts people don't be go hide behind your keyboard because you're hurting people uh, every, we know people that do we know everybody we all got the um, rude comments before or seeing it out there on TikTok, YouTube, every platform, you see rude comments or you hear about people, uh, messages of people being rude and them words hurt and some people take them to heart and you don't know what people's going through or how they take them. So, just think, even the hiding, my, hiding behind your keyboard, it's not going to, it does not protect you, it doesn't do anything. You still set them, you still post them, it, it does mean you set them, if you post them, you wrote them. You have to own up to what you said, or what you put, what you wrote. So, please stop. Everybody who does it, there's a lot of keyboard warriors out there that don't think since. They're on the internet. They're not hurting nobody if they do that. You are hurting people. Because the people you're laughing at and making fun of them about the weight, the way they, the way they look, it might not be about the, just the way they look or their ability or anything. The person you're making fun of is real. And they take it to heart because who would it take the heart when somebody's making fun of them? And what you said is really, you're really saying it, even if it's on a post. Even if you're not saying it to their face in a comment or in a message, you're really saying it and you're hurting them people. So. Think before you talk, think before you type and post a comment because you don't, we sh people, sh you shouldn't treat people like that, like the garbage, like oh, but since I'm hiding behind my keyboard, they don't know who I am. I can. I can do whatever I want. I can tell them. Um, oh, you look ugly. Oh, she's fat. Oh, ew. No. Because you're attacking that person. You're being a bully. 
and it and you don't might not thank you if you're hiding but we all see you and it's not right please thank it's really you're really doing this you're affecting a real person the person you're doing it to you're really affecting them they're not taking it as a joke you might think, well, they posted it. I have my own opinion. Well, keep your harsh, keep your harsh and your mean stuff to yourself. You don't have to be a bully on people's stuff. You can just scroll on by if you're just going to stop and be mean to somebody because... Um, you're hurting that person's feelings. You don't, you don't know nothing about them. And it hurts. I, I myself have been behind, um, a comment that, a comment that really hurts. The Keeble Warriors. It says, um, when I first started this channel. I set everything up and so me and Steve you know like both the team y'all most people know that if y'all been here since the beginning or y'all watch and somebody had the gall to say well if you get rid of the the woman I just can't stand looking at her just get rid of her I just described because of you then I'll stick around and that hurt and that really hurt because you don't know what people's going through because You don't know what he was going to, okay? That was our first mean. That was my first mean comment. Like, first I set up the, I set up the, the page. And um, second I'm the, team, war team. And like, um, uh, no. Like. That's just crazy, and that was so hateful and mean. Like, you don't know. Just because I look the way I look. Like, you don't know what I go through. You don't know what I... You don't know what people go through mentally or anything. And you're just throwing out that, telling her husband to kick her off the channel? Like, no, no. We don't do that. So, I know how it feels to be attacked by these keyboard warriors. So, we're not going to have none of that. No. So, I know there's a lot of victims out there. Because of all, because there's probably more than millions there's millions of victims, but there's probably millions of warriors, too, out there. It's like, if y'all don't have nothing better than do but go around harassing and bullying people and making them feel tiny and making them feel worse than they do feel about themselves. And, like, and it makes them feel like, like, Crap. Beep. But anyways. Like, don't do that. We should... All we should be doing is building people up. Building them up. Helping them. Not building them down and tearing them down. We don't know what people are going through. 
So, even if we don't know what they're going through, we can make them de their day better by trying to make them laugh or helping them out or just some little thing. But of tearing them down, belittling them, and then attacking them about something they love. If they're on social media and they um, and, and if it's if it's a picture, they took that picture and they post it or video. They posted that video, the picture. They love what they that pitch. They love that picture so much, they felt confident enough to post that picture. Or they posted that video. Whatever they were doing in that video, they loved doing what they was doing in that video. And here you are, coming into something they love and attacking them in it and making them feel bad in it. Why? Why you... What's... Why you have to go around making people miserable? All we should be doing is... Is going around making people feel better about themselves, making other people happy, and just stop it with the using words to hurt people. Think about it before you speak. Thinking about it, think about it before you type, think about it before you do anything. Are there a reason for you to be sending comments like that or posting or messaging somebody about that? You, um, rude or inappropriate? No. Just freaking, just bringing people down and Making people feel bad for no reason. Just plain on bullying them. Because that's what it is. You might not say that you're a bully. That you have a... If they put it up, you can comment on it. Yeah, you can comment on it, but... That don't give you a right to be mean. Don't have nothing nice to comment. Just move on. Because... The world is always, already have enough hate, hate in it for you to already go, go around and ruin somebody else's life. You just tear them down in it? No. Or you to just message them. And they're probably already having problems and you just message them and freak them out and... Make them feel bad about themselves. The world is already chaos and too much hate. So why y'all keyboard warriors have to go on and make more destruction and ruin people's day when they're trying to do something that made them happy? If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Just, just be kind to everybody. If you don't have a kind word to say to somebody, don't message them. Don't talk to them. Because nobody needs somebody messaging them and being mean to them and making them feel worse about themselves. Because we have too many because people already feel bad about some people already feel bad about themselves and having trouble and having their own problem without somebody else coming into their life and playing up attacking them just please to the keyboard warriors please Stop all your nonsense. S 
words hurt. Think about what. Think about. Think about it before you post. Think about your work. Think before you speak. You're right. Um, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it. Don't post it. Always be kind. Thank you, y'all. I don't. I hope this is good. Until next time. Bye, y'all.